For as long as I can remember, I have always been a lover of the water. When I was a kid, my father was a swimming instructor and he always took me and my brother to the beach. At that time, we often surfed and dived at the beach, and this way of life influenced the rest of my life. I have always had a great respect and awe for the power of the ocean. I know that the beauty of the ocean comes with its dangers. After graduating from college, I turned my hobby into a career. I became a surf photographer, focusing on capturing the moments of professional surfers in the water. I needed to find the best vantage point in the water to capture the magnificent sight of them taking on the huge waves. I have swum in waves in Hawaii and elsewhere. Each time, I was both excited and scared. I could feel the power of the giant waves and their height and speed was awe-inspiring. Sometimes I was in danger, but each time I was able to make it to shore safely. I seem to have nine lives and have been lucky enough to escape time and time again. For me, surf photography is not just a job, it's a calling. Through my lens I hope to convey the beauty and power of the ocean and inspire a sense of reverence for nature. I know it's not an easy path, but I would give anything to pursue my deepest passion. Whether I'm swimming in huge waves or standing on the beach watching the waves roll in, I feel incredibly happy in content. This lifestyle has become an indispensable part of my life. However, I am also aware of the dangers of the ocean, and on November 8, 2013, I experienced a terrible accident. The waves were unusually rough that day. The pulsating waves kept crashing against the shoreline, creating impressive swells. Even though I had experienced bigger waves, I felt an inexplicable sense of tension and unease in my mind that day. Some voice was telling me that this surfing might bring trouble. However, I ignored this warning because I was confident in my surfing skills. Every surf was a confrontation with the ocean and I thought I could handle them. But at that very moment, a huge wave suddenly came at me that was higher than any wave that had come before. I struggled to control my balance and tried to avoid this huge wave, but it swiftly swept me in. I was knocked down by the tremendous impact and lost my sense of direction and balance. I was engulfed by the tumbling wave and my body was completely out of control. I tried to swim toward the surface, but I kept being pulled downward by the incoming current. I felt helpless and scared, I was in danger of drowning. I desperately searched for an escape, but my strength gradually ran out and my breathing became difficult. Suddenly, I appeared in a dark space. I could not see anything here. I felt very scared and confused. I was surrounded by walls. I reached out and groped the walls around me. I took each step carefully, trying to find a clue or an exit. I walked for a long time without finding any exit. The space was like an endless maze, with no exit at all. The walls stretched infinitely upward, as if I could not see its height. Every step I took was accompanied by the echo of my footsteps, which made my mood heavier. I put my hand on the wall and felt very cold. In this endless maze, the concept of time and space became blurred. I began to feel desperate and lonely, not knowing how to get out of this state. Suddenly, I noticed a faint light flickering, like a ray of hope. I kept staring at that faint light as if it was my only hope. It flickered in the darkness, bringing me a glimmer of warmth and comfort. I moved in the direction of that light, hoping to escape as soon as possible. My whole body was filled with courage and determination. I was getting closer to that light and I could feel its warmth. Eventually, I got out of that dark space. After entering the light, I saw a white tunnel. The tunnel continued upward. I began to move upward. 
The walls of the tunnel were smooth and white, emanating a sacred atmosphere. It was as if I was being lifted up by an invisible force that was guiding me forward. As I moved upward, my mind was filled with peace and happiness. Finally, I reached the end of the tunnel. A magnificent scene unfolded before my eyes. I had come to a beautiful place. The lush flowers and plants emitted a charming fragrance, and the clear lake shone with crystal light. I felt an overwhelming sense of peace and happiness, and my heart was filled with gratitude. Here, I felt true freedom and peace. Suddenly, I heard a beautiful piece of music. It was a kind of music I had never heard before. The music had a strong sense of rhythm, from upbeat to slow, from high to low, and each melody made me feel delighted and moved. I could not contain my emotions, and every note touched my heart deeply. This music made me feel very close to it. It not only has a wonderful melody, but also a wonderful power. It makes me feel closely connected to the world. My soul was baptized here. Here, I feel that my body becomes exceptionally light, as if I have wings. I can fly in the sky. I feel the breeze blowing gently on my cheeks. The sunlight sprinkled on my body, giving me endless energy and joy. I soar freely in the sky and enjoy the scenery. I am like a free little bird. I flew over mountains and rivers. I touched the softest clouds in the sky. A spectacular waterfall appeared before my eyes. The water drops down from high above, like floating silk. I saw a young girl next to the waterfall. She had long brown hair. I stopped beside her and greeted her. There was a sparkle of wisdom and kindness in her eyes. I don't know why, but I felt a kindred spirit with her. I asked her curiously, what is this place? I had never seen such a beautiful sight. She replied gently, this is heaven, a place of peace and beauty. Here, all pain and distress will disappear. Her words shocked and surprised me, and my mouth opened wide in disbelief. I had imagined the beauty of heaven, but it was even more beautiful than I had imagined. She also invited me to her house, and I accepted her invitation. We flew together through the dense woods and came to a cottage. Her home was a warm and natural place. Surrounded by flowers and green grass dotted around. In her home, we tasted delicious food together, and laughter and joy filled the room. She also took me for a walk along the creek to appreciate the beauty of nature. I felt incredibly relaxed and happy in her company. Her kindness and warmth made me feel like I was at home. Finally, she told me that there are still many people on earth who love me and who are worried about me. I had to go back to them. Although heaven was wonderful, my mission was not yet complete. My heart became very complicated. I could not leave this place, but longed to return to my family. She gently touched my shoulder and gave me warm encouragement and support. She said, You are a brave and loving person, and people on earth need your presence. Return to them with the blessings of heaven. I nodded my head. As we said goodbye, she asked me, do you know why you met me here? I shook my head in confusion, curious about her question. She smiled and continued, I am your sister. I was very surprised to hear this. My parents had never told me that I had a sister. She seemed to see my confusion. Then she went on to say, you will get the answer you want when you go back. At this very moment, I felt my soul trembling. This feeling was getting stronger and stronger. The scene in front of me started to become blurred, and the white tunnel surrounded me again. 
My soul trembled more and more intensely, as if an invisible force was leading me. I knew that I was about to return to Earth and to my family. As I traveled through the tunnel, the white glow faded away. I was surrounded by seawater and the water pressure made my body feel heavy. Just when I could barely stand it, a bright light suddenly illuminated the bottom of the water. The light was like an invisible arm that freed me from the darkness. I had been spotted. They were a search and rescue team. They were armed with breathing equipment and quickly approached me. One of the search and rescue team members swam to me and held my hand tightly. They quickly brought me to the surface. As I breathed fresh air again. I felt very lucky. I was pulled to the rescue boat. I was taken to a nearby hospital. My family also arrived at the hospital, their eyes full of worry. My parents hugged me tightly. The doctors examined my body in detail and didn't find anything too serious. They just told me to go back and get some rest. The day after I returned home, my mother and I sat on the couch. I took a deep breath and decided to share my experience in heaven with my mother. Mom, there is something I want to tell you. I said in a soft voice. She nodded. Before I was rescued, I went on an amazing journey. I traveled through a white tunnel and entered a beautiful place. I met a woman. She caressed my shoulder and offered me encouragement and support. She said she was my sister. My mother's voice began to tremble and she shed tears of sadness. I held her hand tightly and I felt her sadness. My child, I never told you because this is my most painful memory. Before you were born, there was a car accident in our family. Your sister tragically passed away in that accident. She was only seven years old at the time. My mother's voice carried endless sorrow. My heart immediately heaved and I looked at my mother in disbelief. I never thought I had a sister. After the accident, I felt it was my fault, I didn't protect her, my mother continued. This painful experience has always bothered me, and I didn't want to remember it, so I didn't tell you about it. I understand the pressure and self-blame my mother has been under, and I know she is also in great pain inside. I comforted my mother by saying that it was not your fault. You are a loving mother. Please don't blame yourself anymore. My sister wouldn't want to see you in such pain. Now my sister is living a happy life in heaven. The mother raised her head, and her eyes were filled with complicated emotions. Slowly, her expression became softer. Mother took a deep breath and then dried her tears. I hugged my mother tightly. And we felt each other's warmth and love. Although the loss of my sister was a painful memory, it also made me understand more about the preciousness of life and the importance of family. I will always miss my sister.